I've heard everything so far from, boy, my sales are through the roof to my sales are dead. Nothing's going on. And stay tuned. Here's your $100 if you want that $100 in the $100 giveaway. I figured, you know, y'all are a bunch of resellers out there. You'll need a $101 bill, so I'll just put it in an envelope and ship it off. What do you think? <laughs> All right, we'll probably do it through PayPal is my guess. But at any rate, 100 bucks or that Rolo printer, your choice. It's coming up in tomorrow's video or maybe the next one. We'll see. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, and we are in the eBay cave, and I was just out in the Commonwealth cabin. We're not quite ready to move in out there, but we're getting awful close. But every time I go to the post office box and I find something in there that looks or feels like license plates, I usually take it out there. And we have something, I think, from Chandler is the name I saw. So hang around to the end of the video, and we'll see what that is. And I'm excited to look at that and excited to continue decorating out there and getting that place looking like I want it to look and operating like I want it to operate. And all that storage has to be done. And then we'll move in. Well, then i got to make sure that Internet works, and then we'll move in. But as you know, I'm sometimes one day behind, two days behind, and occasionally three days behind you on this. Sometimes what I say with all that's going on around us might seem a little out of context, and you have to forgive me for that. So if you would do me a favor in the comments, keep me updated on how you're doing, on how the reselling world is operating. Is there anything you're doing differently? I'll let you know, obviously, in the videos if there's anything I'm doing differently. How are your sales? Are they up? Are they down? Are they sideways? what's the deal what's going on and keep me informed because you know we all sell different things and we all have different experiences i've heard everything so far from boy my sales are through the roof to my sales are dead nothing's going on and you know sometimes any and all of these concerns depending on our circumstances are a little bit different and so my concerns over sales might not be your concern over sales based on your circumstances. So if you would, in the comments, just keep me updated on what your particular story is. You know, you get to peek into our life all the time, and I'd love to peek into yours, and the only way we can do that is through the comments. At any rate, today, there wasn't anything really out of the ordinary in sales. Had a pretty good day in sales. Nothing amazing, nothing really bad. Sold some interesting things, and I'm happy with some. Sold some things that I just listed that we just picked up at a garage sale, which reminds me, you know, I have quite a few garage sales from months ago that I still haven't showed. <laughs> so I'm afraid when I show them, I'll be like, you're going out yard sailing and this and that. Hey, I'm going to keep putting out a garage sale every Sunday or some kind of sale because I have six or seven kind of backlogged in here. But at any rate, we have some that we've done just in the last week or two. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's going to slow down, if that's going to completely go away. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what other resellers are going to do. You know, let me know in the comments what's going to go on out there. And I'm not trying to make any statements. I don't want to start a holy war in the comments. I'm just curious <laughs> more than anything. At any rate, let's go ahead and take a look at what's sold today. All right, here's an item. I used to sell this all the time. I picked this one up for two bucks. I usually try to get them for a dollar, but most people won't sell them for a buck. I think this is the one, if I remember, I picked it up and got a discount because of, uh, there you go. It's got a little bit off right there. You know, I'm not quite sure where I got this one. I have a feeling I remember. If I do remember it, maybe I'll link it up here. If I don't remember it, there's going to be no link. But this one sold for $19 plus shipping. I used to sell the heck out of these. Don't find them very much anymore, to be perfectly honest with you. There was a phase a couple years ago where these things sold like crazy. This one's not a highly desirable one. A lot of times the ones that sell will have, there'll be Don Carter. Brunswick sells too, but the Don Carter ones, they usually have this kind of a pattern going down here. The baby blue ones sell. There's some different colors that sell a little bit better than the old brown one. Even black sells okay. And I used to market them as diaper bags. A lot of women were carrying these things around as diaper bags. It was kind of highly fashionable for a, for a bit of time. But they're pretty big. So they're kind of hard to sell sometimes because you can barely keep them under the dimensional size. But you can. You just got to be careful. You can't put tons of padding around this thing. It's in pretty good shape other than this thing right here. And it, it took a long time to sell. But it did sell for $19 plus shipping. I'm a couple bucks into it. So it's around a $15 profit. Hey, we're still selling Inaman, so, you know, I guess this is a necessity in times of crisis. 
So this guy uh, is going out to Samuel. Samuel, thanks so much. All right, this may be a sale that we air this coming Sunday. I'm not quite sure, but we got a great deal. I think I bought seven Harley items for 10 bucks. So, you know, what, what is that? A dollar and a quarter-ish, a little bit more, dollar thirty, something like that. And this one is a pretty desirable one. It is a woman's, like, garage style, you know, like you would see somebody in a garage wearing. And it's pretty cool, Speedway Spirit. It's not perfect. It's got a little fading to it, but it's a woman's XL. And this sold within a day of me listing it. And it sold for $30 plus shipping. So it paid for all seven items that I bought and gave us about a $15 profit. So all six of the other items are going to be pure profit. And we were already in the profit with this one item. So Harley stuff is good, but not all Harley stuff is good. But this is the kind of thing that sells really, really well. This one's going out to Elliot, and he says, I'm a viewer, and I appreciate all the knowledge that you provide. Need this for a reference for a little art project I'll be doing soon. Thanks. Elliot, you have piqued my interest. I want to know what kind of art project you're talking about. So, at any rate, let me know in the comments, and we hope he brings you good luck. That reminds me of an art story that I have. I used to sell board games, and I used to have tons of them, and I'd let people choose any five that I had, and I'd sell them in a lot. And then eBay said, no, nah, you're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> and I had one guy come in and said, hey, you know what? How much for every board game that you have? And I'm like, really? Seriously. And I can't remember what price I put on it. It was like $900 plus shipping or something like that. And I made a pretty good amount of money. I had to ship it in multiple shipments through FedEx. And it turned out this guy was an artist and he was going to take all the board games and make some kind of art project in New York City. And I looked up this name and he previously had done nude pour paint projects where he'd have naked women and he would pour paint all over them. I'm like, this guy is going to buy my board games and do who knows what with these things. But whatever, I put them in a giant box and I shipped them off. All right, this one is headed off. I'm not sure. I feel like this might be to a viewer, but I'm not positive. I think I remember reading something in the comments that led me to believe maybe it's a viewer, but I don't remember. So if it is, Daniel, I apologize, but I don't have a message from you. So let me know in the comments if you are a viewer or not. So this is Ronald Reagan, obviously 40th President of the United States, Inauguration Day, January 20th, 19. 81. It's got a little bit of damage here and there, and it's not perfect, but it's in okay shape considering this thing is 40 years old, and it sold for $30 plus shipping on top of that. So that item right there we picked up from a private pick last Sunday's video that came out, and you can go take a look at that if you want. But that was a pretty nice little profit, $30 plus shipping, and then we sold a button as well, and that was to Quinn's Trends, I believe. All right, this one's going out to James. James, we appreciate the support, and we hope he brings you a lot of good luck. All right, this one's going out to a viewer, and actually it's going out with that jacket that we sold yesterday. And this one's going out to Yvonne, and this is a Red Hot Chili Peppers hat. It's brand new. I'm going to send you the one that's in the package. I think I have, it shows I have four left, but I actually think I have five left but I listed one separate, I think, because it didn't have the plastic around it. So these are only going for $9.95, and I paid a dollar for them at Goodwill. So there's not much profit in these, right around four bucks a piece, and it's taken probably two and a half years to sell them, and I had tons of them, probably 50 of them, but we're getting down to the nitty gritty on them. So Yvonne, we appreciate it, and we hope you enjoy this, and we hope you enjoy that jacket as well. Right, this one's going out to Carolyn, and she is a viewer of the program and a first-year eBay seller. She says she loves the content. Thanks. Going to put this fella in my husband's office when nobody's looking. All right, Caroline, we hope he brings you great luck or scares your husband or makes him think or something. I'm not quite sure. Either way, Carolyn, we hope you enjoy. Thanks so much. Had one of the Lost and Found Golf Club head covers sell, and it's an old one, and it's faded. But it's that Callaway Big Bertha Warbird 5 wood. And like I said, it's not in great shape. And it's still sold for $8.71. Free shipping. So nothing amazing here. It's probably a $3.50 to $4 profit is all. But it is going to stay under 4 ounces. So we'll add that to our total from that sale. So, so far, $392 out of that $250 buy. And it just keeps creeping up. 
All right, picked this Tupperware up the other day from that Catholic Church sale. That was that fundraiser for Haiti a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago at this point. And it sold for $4.91 plus shipping. And I paid 50 cents, so it's not a great profit. It's about a $3.50 profit. But it took me probably six or so minutes to do this beginning to end. Buy, picture, list, and ship. All right, and this one's going out to Joe, the Philly Picker. He says, hey, Kevin, how are you, buddy? I'm a huge fan of your channels, both of them. That's awesome. Thanks so much. I have a YouTube channel also. I started a few months ago. My channel is Philly Picker. I want to give one of these away if I ever reach 500 subs, and I'm at 460 now. So y'all got to go over there and make him get to 500 real quick and then sign up for his giveaway. You can win one of these guys. If you ever have some free time, check out my channel. I have checked out your channel. Uh, just to give you a heads up, the videos are not the best, LOL. Also let Blue Ridge Mama and the Homeschool Hustlers know I am a huge fan of them also. Joe Philly Picker. We will definitely do that and we appreciate it. And you need to learn how to advertise for yourself a little better. Either that or you're setting the bar so low that they're excited when they get over to your channel. So Joe, we appreciate it and we're gonna send it off to you. And I don't wanna assume anything, but I'm gonna autograph one and send it to you. And then I'm gonna send the other one to you as well. And if that doesn't work, you let me know and I'll send you another one. All right, this is the all time most disappointing Peter Millar shirt I have ever had. And I cannot for the life of me figure it out. I bought a ton of Peter Millar stuff at Goodwill. So $3.99 a piece. And I sold it so fast. I mean, Blue Ridge Mama listed it and we sold it. There's probably 15 pieces and they were all in a line at Goodwill and we just bought them all. And I would say out of those 15, 10 of them sold within five days for really good money. And a couple straggled and took forever to sell. And we have two left. I'm like, why are these things not selling? And I thought, oh, this is a pretty nice one, good colors. And we just kept dropping the price on it. It had been in the store forever. And eventually it sold. Look, it's even got a dry cleaner tag on it. It sold for, I think, 12, I don't have it up right now. I'm sorry. I think it was $12.95 free shipping. So we're still making money on it, but we're only making like two, three bucks is all. And last but not least, this one's going out to Matt. He says, love the videos. Keep it up. You have inspired me to continue reselling. So that's awesome. Thanks so much, Matt. We appreciate it. All right, as always, we hope y'all are doing well out there and you're staying safe and y'all are at least enjoying a little bit of time with your loved ones, if that's possible for you right now. And if you hang around, we're going to look at a homeschool hustler sale. Maybe we'll get Reagan or Turner out there in the Commonwealth cabin. And we're also going to look at the gift from Chandler. And we might even put Philly Pickers channel up on that TV out there. So at any rate, thank y'all for joining us as always, and we will see you next time. Hey, we're out in the Commonwealth Cabin, and we have a homeschool hustler with us, but I thought I'd show you Philly Picker's channel first. So we appreciate it, and he's going to give away that Animan for a 500 subscriber giveaway, and right now, as I'm filming this, 471. Turner Graham. What? All right, we got Turner with us here today, and he has a sale out of the homeschool hustler store. What's that? A uh, basketball pop popple. A basketball popple, and it sold for $24.95, and it came from the Mount Plushmore sale. And I forgot to add that to our total. But I'll put it on there and we'll add it next time we take a look at it. I think we're over $1,500 profit off of that sale. And uh, maybe I'll link it if I can remember. So that's $1 to spend, $1 to save, and $1 to donate right now. That's awesome. What are you going to use your dollar for? Don't you owe Mama some money? Uh, yeah. What do you owe her money for? Uh, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> you don't want to tell me. Yeah. Why not? Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Okay, you don't have to tell me. Hey, I want to show you one other thing. And this is from Chandler. And Chandler sent a really, really nice note. And we really do appreciate it. But I want to show you these plates, y'all. These are some of my favorite. Got that awesome blue Kentucky. And they look like they're from the 1970s. One from 1969. And those are going to look really good in here somewhere. When we finally get that back part done. So I just want to give a little shout out to your mom too. It says your mom sells on eBay and she's a lifelong collector. So thank you so much, Chandler. We do appreciate it.